Okay, my presentation uh, is uh, it's intitulated multi multiphysic modeling of magnetoelectric composite by the finite element method. And my team is uh, Josh Oren and uh, Aurélie against Bittel uh, in the GIPS laboratory, uh, Sorbonne University. And uh, here my plan of my presentation. And I'm going to present the context of my works, uh, the IOG and uh, the energy harvesting problem, example in the biomedical domain and uh, why we consider the magnetoelectric composite as a micro source. And uh, I'm going also to present uh, an example of a magnetoelectric nonlinear model. And after we, uh, we talk about uh, the finite element uh, method formulation with the discretization of the problem, nonlinear uh, method and the dynamic regime. And uh, in the end, I, uh, I will show the simulation results. And the context for the work, it's the internet of, uh, of things. Why? Be because we have a, a lot of uh, uh, connected objects and uh, the consequence is the pollution, poll pollution uh, concerning the, the battery, uh, the batteries. And in the context uh, here, it's uh, the challenge of energy harvesting. We have two solutions, uh, use uh, env uh, environmental uh, source on the uh, wireless uh, power method. And um, the M, the objective for each uh, energy harvesting is to, is to connect the different uh, uh, connected objects like uh, a micro energy source uh, where the, the, the power is uh, about 100, uh, one micro watt. And uh, in the state of R, if you look the different method to, uh, for the energy harvesting, here we have two <coughs> solution, uh, interesting solution, we have the, uh, wireless um, powering with the magnetic uh, energy. And uh, we have also the high energy uh, with the pie piezoelectric uh, element. And here uh, I'm going to a medical application example uh, for the uh, connected object inside the body. Okay. And here uh, the, uh, we have an example of a biometric and sensor wireless for the electro a uh, stimuli, uh, stimulator is necessary to, to, um, to, uh, to connect, to uh, un uh, implant uh, this uh, element inside the crown, but it's necessary to uh, supply this uh, sensor. And we have also another uh, example uh, for the, um, uh, the uh, here it's uh, the objective is to uh, investigate the, the behavior of, of the behavior of and on the links Sorry, after our thick uh, stent implantation, because with the, after the implantation we have some problem with the uh, underlings, and the necessity is to uh, to check to uh, to monitoring uh, this uh, pro problem, and the solution is to, to use a near field induction uh, pumping. It's an example, and we have okay, uh, we have uh, the, um, the the coil okay, and inside the coil we have a, a small coil to. Uh, to supply the sensor inside the, the body. But the wireless monitoring in low frequency, uh, we have, a, 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 it's a good solution, but uh, because the body is transparent for the low magnetic field. And uh, just uh, is necessary to respect some recommendation for the magnetic field. And here it's a one and uh, under uh, a third for uh, about uh, the low frequency domain. If you look the um, <coughs> the advantage and the disadvantage of the the, the near field uh, inductive coupling, we have okay. Uh, uh, it's a good solution for the for the power. It's good sol solution for the transmission. But for the miniaturization, it's uh, not e easy. And for the uh, we have difficult with the, the element uh, because uh, uh, between two uh, two coils. Another. Uh, a solution is to you is uh, the objective here. Uh, for example, it's uh, to uh, to provide an implanted mi micro uh, oxygen generator for uh, tumor oxygenation. And the solution is to use uh, ultrasound. Okay, if you uh, you, uh, uh, <coughs> you implant a piezoelectric inside the, the body and you, you send the, the acoustic uh, sound. The piezo piezoelectric is a good solution here because it's a high power for the small with the small dimension. And if you look at the 
uh, the advantage and disadvantage, okay? Uh, for the miniaturization, it's okay. For the power, it's okay. But for the transmission distance, it's not okay. And for alignment, it's not okay. And the solution we propose, it's the magnetoelectric solution. The magnetoelectric uh, magneto uh, solution, it's what? It's a magnetoelectric composite. It's composed by piezoelectric element and magnetostructive uh, uh, magnetostructive uh, element. And we have sort of excitation with it, uh, the source, it's a magnetic excitation. Uh, we use uh, the wireless magnetic uh, low frequency power running, and we use also the piezoelectric high uh, with the high power. And the magnetoelectric uh, solution, of, uh, ma magnetoelectric composite we have uh, in the, um, uh, out we have the uh, specific uh, coefficient, the specific coefficient, it's the ratio between the voltage between the piezoelectric and the uh, dynamic magnetic field SM. Uh, okay. And this value, it's uh, under a, a specific base point uh, uh, static uh, field. And uh, for the load electrical load, we can uh, add uh, we, uh, a specific uh, electric uh, uh, Electric electrical circuit for the uh, energy uh, harvesting for uh, to uh, to uh, uh, to manage the energy. Sorry. And here uh, it's my work. It's a uh, Einer Biomen in our France uh, for the, with the jeeps, and we work about this solution to to uh, impl uh, to uh, supply different uh, uh, sensor medical in inside the body. And if you compare this solution with uh, the both uh, both solution, it's uh, between the magnet magnetic solution and piezoelectric solution. We can see it's uh, we have here. Uh, we can see we have a, a, a best per performance. And if you look the, the table here, it's a new uh, reference. Uh, the um, solution with the magnetoelectric uh, in the hand is better uh, with if you compare uh, different solution. And for that, it's necessary to uh, to develop a numerical tools so for uh, the, the predi prediction of the performance composite. Uh, uh, if you look at uh, the evolution of the magneti magnetoelectric uh, uh, composite, we have uh, we have a problem over here. Uh, we have a, a, a long evolution. Okay, the classical different type of uh, magnetoelectric. Uh, uh, Composite is uh, composed of different uh, uh, canonic st structure. We have a specific layer structure or a type of uh, 0 0.3 with a nanogram inside the, the, the element. And uh, in the work uh, for the GIPS work, we have de we develop uh, different composite. We have a whole generation with a few uh, centimeter cube and a new generation. Uh, it's a small uh, small composite. And if you look the, the, the possibility to create a, a magnetoelectric composite, we have a lot of possibility. We have a lot of uh, different uh, uh, performance. Uh, it's necessary to develop uh, specific tools and, uh, like uh, numeric tools to uh, investigate each composite. And for that, it's necessary to, uh, to understand that if you look the magnetoelectric uh, composite, uh, we have piezoelectric and magnetostructive element. And the, for the piezoelectric, you do have linear behavior. Uh, for the magnetostructive uh, composite, we have non-linear behavior. It's uh, okay, we have a coupling between them. The coupling is the uh, elastic coupling because we send uh, the magnetic field inside the, uh, the magnetostructive uh, layer and we have el elastic, uh, manu the magnetoelastic phenomena and the magnetoelastic phenomena. Uh, inside a voltage uh, for the piezoelectric element. And uh, for the, uh, we don't have a problem with the piezoelectric, it's a linear uh, domain. And for the um, magnetostructive, it's necessary to, uh, to know the permeability and the piezomagnetic uh, incremental coefficient. And for that, it's necessary to develop a nonlinear model in static regime to uh, study after the dynamic regime. Uh, an example is here. We are uh, it's necessary to select a non-linear model. Uh, 
like multi-scale model or simplified model. And it's what it's, uh, it's the hem is here. It's uh, to, to know the incremental piezoelectric coefficient or the uh, incremental relativity coefficient. And for that, we use the, uh, the strain curve on the magnetization curve. Uh, we have dependence with the, the, uh, the magnetic field and the stress inside the composite. And here uh, we have possibility. Uh, it's a specific uh, nonlinear model. It's a, an example. It's possibility to uh, to develop nonlinear model uh, if you use um, the multi-scale 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 model. Uh, we start with the multi-grain and polycrystal element, and we simply we made we made uh, it's possible to to um, to made a simplification. Uh, to uh, study isotropic case. Uh, for that, we, uh, we start with the GIPS uh, energy and we develop, uh, we introduce the GIPS ener energy in the partition function. And after that, we, uh, it's possible to calculate the magnetization and the strain uh, for, uh, for this model. Uh, okay, it's, um, it's a comp complicated uh, model, but it's analytical model. It's, uh, uh, analytical model to, to, uh, to uh, possible to implement in numerical uh, uh, tools. And after that, if you have analytical model, it's possible to calculate the permeability and the piezomagnetic coefficient just uh, with uh, this model. Uh, okay, and do uh, tr translate uh, the tensor of the permeability of the material and the piezomagnetic coefficient with the uh, this tensor. And here we have an example for with the uh, terkenol. Uh, we have a comparison between the measurement and the and the model, and we have a good agreement uh, between them. And uh, just uh, after we have a prediction with the piezomagnetic coefficient and the permeability for different uh, different uh, st uh, applied strain. And now. Uh, we have a problem with it. Okay. So. Uh, here we, uh, I'm going to to present the um, uh, the implementation of the FM uh, for formulation and to study uh, this uh, magnetoelectric uh, composite. It's necessary to uh, introduce the multi-physics coupling problem. And here we start in a static regime. And uh, we use the equilibrium equation of, uh, we have a, a Newton uh, law and we have ampere, ampere angles uh, law. And we have also the constitutive law for each, uh, for the stress, for the magnetic field and uh, for the, uh, uh, and for the uh, electric field, sorry, and uh, for the displacement field, sorry. And we had uh, also the potential relation between the strain and the displacement, between the electric field and the, uh, electrical potential and between the magnetic flux and the magnetic potential. And we, if you have three, okay, the uh, equilibrium equation, constitutive law and potential equation, we mix it. And to obtain a problem, we have the, the I know it's all of the problem, it's a mechanical, mechanical displacement, electrical potential and the magnetic potential. So there are the, uh, you know, of the problem. And now we, we uh, just we explain uh, the FM formulation. We start with the uh, the residual uh, winter residual method, and we consider here the residual of equilibrium equation, uh, and uh, we introduce the test test function. And for each uh, for each uh, case, uh, we introduce the formulation and here the example for the new uh, Newton low resolution okay and I started here okay we have uh, the expression and it's possible to uh, to change the expression with the, the relation of uh, divergence and here uh, it's possible or, or to simplify the expression with the green Oswald uh, uh, relation and if you use also the Neumann condition for the elastic domain uh, it's possible to uh, uh, to eliminate uh, the, uh, this uh, element, this component. And after that, we sim the simplification of uh, the problem is here. 
and we replace okay uh, the uh, variable inside the the relation and here in 2d a 2d case uh, just here uh, I, I, uh, I, I will show the just a 2d work because in 2d the magnetic uh, flux and the um, magnetic uh, flux and the magnetic potential is uh, is linked with the specific correlation is not rotational but it's uh, the gradient with uh, a specific coefficient of rotation and after that uh, we use the discretization we have a phase function <coughs> the new uh, approximation term and we, you use the galerting method and we replace the different uh, differential oper operator disc discretes and uh, the discretization process is uh, you, you transform the integral sum for each element uh, domain and after that we have a specific sum discretization and uh, we obtain okay in the hand a uh, matrix uh, in a specific matrix system to solve and we have a specific uh, okay matrix inside we have a rigidity uh, matrix for different uh, elements we have the coping uh, element and the uh, rigidity for uh, the displacement for the electric voltage and for the magnetic potential And it's necessary to introduce also a specific uh, boundary condition uh, for the field problem. And uh, here uh, we, uh, we input specific value of the man uh, magnetic pot potential A. Okay, uh, when we introduce uh, this uh, boundary condition, we create uh, implicitly uh, the magnetic fl flux uh, inside the uh, direction. Okay, and here is the source with the specific value of uh, the uh, A. And uh, now uh, I present you the nonlinear process. The nonlinear pr process, we started with the magnetic, uh, materi magnetic tilted materials with the uh, constitutive, constitutive law. And here, uh, if you look at the constitutive law, we have the relation between the T, it's uh, the, the stress, S, it's uh, the strain, uh, H, it's uh, magnetic field, and B is my, uh, f uh, magnetic flux. And we have the relation with the Jacobian matrix uh, Jacobian. And if you start here, we consider for the uh, material we have initial condition. Uh, we impose a magnetic field and a strength. And after that, we use nonlinear model. to calculate the uh, permeability and the, the piezo magnetic coefficient. And after that, we use the Jacobian and uh, we, we solve the, the system and uh, you, uh, you, we, you have the solution. And after that, we uh, you use a post processing to calculate the strain and, uh, and the magnetic flux. You use the uh, inversion of the Jacobian to uh, to find the stress and the magnetic field inside the structure, and we make a, a specific iteration. We save the data for each uh, case, and you update uh, the value for the magnetic uh, magnetic on the stress for each finite element in finite element inside the the structure. Here we have an example of the nonlinear impact. Uh, we simulated the specific uh, material composite of CFO, BTO, and CFO. The BTO is a piezo, CFO is a minute restrictive uh, uh, layer. And if you look at the comparison between the measurement and the simulation, for the first case, we have uh, the simulation made uh, in consider each incremental uh, coefficient have a fixed value under uh, the base point. And for the second case, we have the simulation when we use for each uh, value of each uh, finite element. And we can see it's possible to, to, to see that the second case is better, uh, better to, uh, uh, to consider it, the structure effect uh, 
we, uh, when we send the field, because the magnetic field inside the structure is not the same, we have uh, heterogeneous partition inside the structure. And for the dynamic regime, we have the same process, just we change for the equilibrium equation, we add the, this element, okay, for the uh, dynamic uh, displacement. Uh, we have also the constitutional laws, it's uh, for uh, incremental element for uh, fixed value under at this point. And uh, for the potential relation, we add also uh, the eddy current effect inside, the, uh, inside the, the, the system. And it's possible also to add the circuit equation, the home laws uh, in the system to, to solve. And in the end, we have uh, this system to, uh, to, uh, to solve with the finite element method. Uh, example for the simulation, uh, here we have a different simulation. Uh, here is a laminate, uh, to, uh, a rectangular laminate st structure. We have here uh, for the first the magnetic potential, displacement and uh, el electric uh, potential. We have also the magnetic, uh, magnetoelectric coefficient for different uh, thickness of uh, the magnetostructive uh, layer. Here we have uh, uh, also a, co a comparison between me measurement for the uh, specific case, uh, terphenol, TZT, and terphenol. And we compare uh, with the me measurement we, we found a good uh, agreement and it's possible to predict the, uh, the behavior of the composite for different uh, here, uh, stress applied in the st structure. It's also possible to, uh, to study the dynamic, uh, the dynamic uh, uh, repense okay, for the mechanical re resonance and also uh, for the load. If you want to change the load, just not a resistant load, but a, a specific uh, circuit like here, if uh, the energy harvesting system, it's possible to study the behavior of the, uh, of the energy in the, uh, uh, when, we, uh, when we look at the, uh, the output voltage uh, and the output uh, deliver power inside the structure. And here we are, uh, I present you a different composite investigated. Uh, it's possible also to investigate a composite with a thin, thin uh, uh, layer. Uh, for that, we use a specific method. It's uh, called the Chell element method. And uh, here we have uh, Chen Wen. Uh, it's a PhD a student uh, in the JIPS laboratory, and we have a poster uh, concerning this uh, uh, this uh, study. It's possible also to study uh, hybrid structure like uh, rosin type uh, rosin type uh, structure. Uh, we uh, it's possible to to check. We have a good agreement between the measurement and uh, and the simulation for each case. And here we have all uh, different. Uh, also, uh, st structure. We have a possibility to to uh, study uh, for, uh, the first. It's a for zero point three type structure composite of uh, grain in, inside the structure, and the the results the result that show the um, the variation of the re result in different repartition of uh, the grain, and we have also the possibility to uh, to study uh, different. Um, Electrode uh, form and uh, multi-layer system. Okay, it's uh, with the finite, finite element tool. It's possible to study any uh, any structure, and it's also we have developed a three D three D tools uh, to study uh, uh, specific composite st structure. But also we have two D asymmetric case. If you compare for uh, this cylindrical. Uh, uh, ma materials, uh, we, we found the same result and uh, a good agreement uh, with uh, the measurement. But with uh, concerning the time computing with the asymmetrical uh, tools, we have uh, it's a it's a very very faster, uh, very faster. It's a few few minutes, a few seconds, sorry. And for the three D, it's about uh, one two hour. Okay. Uh, I'm finished my presentation, and just I would like to show you we develop uh, here with the MATLAB, okay, just um, uh, specific tools, maybe here. 
uh, like this. And if you if you look, maybe the the nonlinear uh, model for the galphenol, uh, we we give the saturation for the uh, for the strain. Uh, uh, we don't have uh, we don't have uh, uh, here. Okay, uh, I give any value. Okay, and you calculate. Okay, we have the, the piezo, uh, well, piezo magnetic coefficient, the relativity, and uh, possible to obtain the optimal value. And also, yeah. Okay. Just one minute. Now we have a understand why. No, sorry, we have a problem with uh, my. Uh, I pres uh, present uh, as this. Yeah. Um, the... No, no, it's not uh, the go. We have the problem with the, uh, it's, Sorry, it's a problem with the uh, MATLAB version here. It's not the same for the version for the lab. Okay. Let's uh, thank uh, oh, Akim for the presentation. <laughs> yeah, thank you very much. Any questions in the audience online? No. Chat. Um, so I didn't quite get. So, so what? What is the the the? In order to implement your simulation, so you you design a complete um, your own code or yes, your own code. Yes, yes it's your own code. Yes. Uh, because it's not uh, it's not easy to find a specific uh, if you use uh, Comsol, for example okay uh, it's it's not easy to uh, to um, to simulate this structure because the coupling is not easy okay and uh, we we necessary to uh, implement the nonlinear model and to calculate for each uh, finite element uh, the, the the good coefficient and with you use the Comsol system uh for the moment it's not possible we can simulate with the constant volume but uh, not uh, specific uh, uh for each value uh, okay the, 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 the good uh, value for each element okay and and uh since so, so from what you present in the beginning it seems that it's mostly Quasi static uh, simulations, and 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 I've seen some some higher frequencies, maybe in the. In yes, we we, we it's necessary to start with the static regime. The question is, the the process. And uh, can you up, up to what frequency your model is uh, is valid, basically? Oh, for, uh, we have, it, it depends on, but, but we are here or maybe it's, uh, it depends of, of the length of the structure for the frequency. Uh, here, maybe we have a, an example for here. Okay. For, okay. For, uh, 
far. Uh, I don't know. It's uh, oh. 85. Yes, 85, uh, about 85 uh, uh, kilo, kilohertz, but it depends of the, the length of the composites uh, because we have a mechanic resonance. Okay, but if we if you were to simulate much uh, tiner things, it, it would be would be okay. 